does your whites look like this? <laughs> yes, that's gross, right? What is that? Well, this is rust stains. This is because the most abundant natural element in the Earth's crust is iron. Yes, and that iron attaches to the water droplet. It comes through the plumbing and gets into your home. Mainly we see this on people who, who own private wells, but if it's you, some cities have it, but overall, if this is an issue for you, what can you do? Well, first of all, what kind of damage can it do, right? Well, look at this. This is some of the galvanized plumbing pipes or copper plumbing pipes. It actually clogs the plumbing because as this water droplet has a particle attached to it, it attaches itself to the outside walls uh, or the inside walls of the plumbing pipe. Now, why is that a problem? Because before long, guess what? They close up and now you don't have water or the water pressure drops drastically. So it is something without question you need to address. If you live on a well or you have a city water with a little bit of iron in it, these, these are the concerns you have to have. So plumbing pipes is number one because to cut open a wall and replace a new plumbing pipe is really, really expensive to do. And you don't want to incur that cost because my goodness, it can be thousands of dollars to start to replace plumbing pipes. The second reason why you want to get that iron out of the water is because it's going to ruin white clothing. So if you have shirts and now you know they cost you $30, $40 and now you've got stains on it, you can't get it out because bleach doesn't get it out. You have to try to buy new clothing, which costs you money. The next reason why is iron builds up in the water heater. So the big water heater is a big empty vessel. And when you heat iron, heat water with iron uh, attached to it, it pops off the water molecule, lands to the bottom of the water heater, and it can clog up that water heater and make it less effect effective. We've literally seen like a brick of iron on the bottom of a water heater. So now you're heating the steel that's supposed to heat the water, but wait, all that iron, now you got like a big layer of rock of iron that it's heating, and then that heats the water. So your energy bills go up. So it's really very important to take that iron out of your water. Lastly, think about your skin. Think about your hair. We have had numerous people call us and they're like, oh my God, my wife, she's got blonde hair or she's got hair, she's got to get uh, chemical treatments once a month because her hair is turning orange. Oh my God. Or it happens to where it clogs the pores of your skin. So now people say, I think I'm losing my hair. Well, yeah, it dries out the hair follicle. They break off and it feels like you're losing your hair. Wait a second. I've lost a lot of my hair already, right? Anyhow, that was not from iron. Anyway, but if these are concerns of yours, yes, that will cost you money in the long run. We had one lady who was like so grateful because she's like, wow, once I put in an iron filter, which is the solution for taking out iron, she's like, I used to spend $100 every month getting a treatment for my hair. Now I don't get to have to do the treatment for every other month. I'm so happy. So now she's literally saving six hundred dollars a year so iron will nickel and dime you yes it's going to pull out the pennies the dimes the dollars and before you know it you're having to buy a new water heater or your laundry machine is broken your dishwasher is broken so there's a variety of reasons why you want to do it now what is the solution a test for how much iron we need to know how much iron you have in your water how many parts per million of iron do you have to begin with? Some people we deal with have eight, nine, it's just off the chart. Some people have just one or two. That's the average home that we see on well water. That's pretty easy to treat with. But once we know, A, how, much, how many parts per million of iron you have, then we can apply the right iron filter. By the way, if you live a huge part of the market in the Midwest and over, the, well, actually the whole country, People have problems with iron bacteria. Iron bacteria, we have a video on that. Click on it, learn about it. It's basically bacteria that feeds on iron. You have to do, do a totally different iron filter. If you'd like to learn more, if you'd like to get a price on an iron filter, if you need just some advice, you know, send me a text, send me a message. We'll be able to respond to you and help you 
to find what kind of iron filter you need. Again, you guys know me. I'm Drew. I'm here to serve you.